one of the ways to accept when someone does something that you don't like. Just like all things in Buddhism, it's about acceptance and true reality. This is you and this is them. We're going through life through our own perspective with our own anxieties, stresses, worries, but we often forget the fact that these people also have their own stresses, worries, anxieties, traumas, etc. And they also see the world through their own eyes. We share this in common. And like I mentioned before, we look at the reality in Buddhism. And the reality is, is we're human and we can be delusional. It's not about excusing somebody, but rather accepting that they are human. And just like us, trying to figure this life thing out for themselves. This acceptance is the only thing that we can do to end our own mental suffering, the acceptance of reality. The truth is, things are going to happen in our lives that we can't control and that we don't like. But if you can acknowledge the truth that everyone is just going through their own experience, you're going to be practicing one of the highest forms of selflessness there is. From there, meeting that person with love and compassion is going to spread more good, positive, loving energy into the world. And isn't that what we want more of? And to be clear, we can still hold space for our emotions. We just don't need to make them larger than they really are. And the more we practice this, the more we practice mindfulness and observing those thoughts, feelings, and emotions, the more often we can stop identifying with them and in turn, further end our own mental suffering. It is said that when one becomes a Buddha or an Arhat, that nothing really bothers them. Somebody could come up and shove them in the middle of a crowd and they would just move along like nothing happened. They would forgive immediately and continue living a peaceful life. And one final thing I want to say is this is a practice, which means in the beginning, it's going to be hard. But as time goes on, you will become better at it. And just think back to this video when you're in that heat of the moment and you're upset and you just feel so hurt because that is the mental suffering we're talking about and we do not have to engage with it. I hope this eases some of your pain and if you need any clarification, I'm reading all the comments and would love to help you guys out a bit more. So now you know